Okay, so this is the first video at my new location. Uh, I'm still unpacking things and getting stuff sorted out, and then eventually um, we'll work this out. Uh, so, I just posted on Balloon Twister Central a uh, Cocker Spaniel. And then somebody was uh, posted a picture of a Cocker Spaniel and wanted to do um, something kind of easy. I came up with this design. I've been thinking about it ever since I saw the post, but I haven't had time until now to, to do it. And uh, so here is the Cocker Spaniel. Uh, it takes um, three balloons and, and a scrap for, for the nose. And the tongue's optional, which is a heart balloon. Uh, you're going to need two, two 60s, one white, one brown, and then um, a brown 160, and then a scrap uh, black for the nose. And uh, that's Buddha coming in and out of the room. So this might be a little off the wall uh, twisty right now. So what we're going to do first is we're going to take the white 260. Blow it up. Mm, you got good five finger tail on the back end on that one. Burp it. Tie a knot. Uh, stretch it. Okay, so we're going to do two finger bubble. And then you're going to do a second two finger bubble match. Okay. I'm going to take the nozzle end here. Here. And you're not going to go all the way down because you don't really want it to do a big pinch twist. So I'm taking the nozzle, bringing it through, and I'm tucking it right there. I'm not bringing it all the way back to here. I'm actually tucking it in right there. Okay? And this provides the cheeks. Okay. Batman ball. Careful. <laughs> Woo! Almost lost that one. Then we're going to do another two finger bubble, kind of soft, because we're going to pinch twist that for his bottom mouth. Okay, so now it looks, so basically it's like this, okay? And squeeze and stretch a little bit. Then you're going to do a three finger bubble, is that about three fingers? It's a little about four fingers, four finger bubble. Then a two finger bubble, and then gonna come all the way down. So that's about you want it to come down so the head comes up a little bit because their their head goes slopes up and down. It's, so you want to head up a little bit like that. So you're doing a it looks like almost a five finger. It is a five finger bubble after that just to give that little lump on the top of the head. Okay? Then we're gonna twist it in with the around the mouth area. Okay. So then you have this right here. I'm trying to get that glare out, sorry. I'm gotta find the perfect area in this room to do the videos. So this is what you've got. It's not going to work, is it? Let's do it on the side. Okay, so now you're going to need to make a small bubble and a pinch twist. Okay? And that sets the neck up bringing the legs down and stuff. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and grab the uh, 260 brown. It's the uh, mocha brown. These are going to be his legs. Now depending on what pattern you want, I did it this way. So we have the white chest, brown leg, brown back, one white, one white, and then his white tail. Now you can do them all brown, but the Cocker Spaniel is a mix of uh, 
spotted. So depends. You could do the white back and one white leg, one brown leg. And so you have it a, more of a mix mix. But I think this pattern works really well. So we're going to go ahead and tie this in on the neck. And bring them down. Depending on how long the legs you want them, they're not big dogs, so you don't want them gigantic legs. So we use the four fingers. We do four. I did four. So starting here, four fingers. So I twisted that together like that. That's speed time. This helps if you want to use it as a line twisting technique. Then I did a bubble here for the front paw. Then I do a small little spacer bubble, literally a half a finger. And then I'm going to do another paw. Okay. And then I'm going to bring it right back up. Make sure it's four fingers. And tie it in. Because you did it that way, that automatically kind of brings that paw up. So you automatically have that white paw on the one side for his back leg being white. Brown. So we're going to do this is six fingers. Do a pinch twist. I always do a pinch twist on the tail. Just helps. Going to come back. So far, we're going literally five fingers. On the back, on the white. You see, I did that. Okay, and that gives the white tail. And then we're going to come back, five fingers. Now, if you want them to have a brown tail, you just break this off, leave a tail in, and touch it. If you want him to keep his white tail, it's your choice. He's having a white tail, but I do have to cut his tail short because he's a bit long, right? So that's all right. I go seven fingers. Break that off. And oh, I'm not going to succeed on that knot. <laughs> And then take your scissors, which I don't have any at this point, right next to me. I'd have to go over there. Okay, now. Now you make sure the shorter ends up front because they've got a shorter forehead, okay? Now this is where the 160 comes in. 160 mocha, okay? And, yes, I'm not mouth inflating this. I'm trying to take Aaron Doc Hayes' advice to less mouth inflating and be more happier. Okay, so we're just going to do a good, that is going to be a five finger loop because you get no finger there. Secure it. Do a one finger pinch twist and then you're going to go ahead and slide it through. Here we go. Let's put it back in camera. We're going to slide it through the head. Okay. And then you're going to do, you're just going to write right there. Um, so still underneath that forehead, you're going to do a, a Technically, it's almost a two-finger bubble. And pinch twist it. And then do your loop. 
match it up, make sure his ears are good and equal, secure it in, okay, and then to bring some of that brown around his head, so you get more of that cocker spaniel look, we're going to go ahead and do just barely three finger bubble here, okay, and then we're going to bring it down and secure it. Okay. And then we're going to bring it right back up. Make sure you do a three finger because you don't want it any longer than you don't want it to come out longer. So three finger and you're pulling it up and you want to secure it in that pinch twist right there, right in the ear pinch twist. Okay. And bring that brown that goes across with a little bit of that white. So he's got that brown in the back and he's got that white. You take it up through here. And just go around, bring it back down the other side, and secure it in this pinch twist here. All right. This gives you that look because they have that white break in the center but then sometimes they and then they have that brown going around the back okay break it off you don't need any more of this tie a knot secure it how you please go ahead and tuck that knot in there okay so The only thing left is his nose. So we're going to take a scrap black. You literally only want two fingers. They have little noses. They just little tubby noses. I have a big nose. You have little tubby noses. And he turned on the hallway light. So now it's even brighter. <laughs> Sorry about the glare, guys. Um, I'll work on this being not so glare. I got to figure out in this room where I'm going to be able to do that. Okay, so take it, bring it up to the ends so you got that. Go ahead. That makes it too big, see? So you need to make sure there's two. Go ahead and tie the knot. Now, you need to have a bit of a tail to help you attach it. So, two fingers. That should be plenty of tail. Okay, so we're going to start off right here. And you're going to go down. You're going to go down through the front and up through one of the sides of his cheeks. Okay, then you're going to go across his nose. You're going to go across here. And down the other side of his cheek. This will pull it back into his head and secure it in there. Okay. Now when you do that, it makes it look like he's got a pinch twist, right? So this is how you fix that. Because you didn't truly do a, a major pinch twist, you still got a bit of a cheek bubble look. So bring the bubbles down like that. And his jaw, his cute little mouth, right back over. And just twist that down. So you get that pinch twist look away.
tuck that nose in there because their noses are squishy. And there you go. All right. Um, one second. Okay, so I'll show you how I did the eyes. I've been practicing my Sharpie. Now that I said that, I'll probably screw up. So forgive me. <laughs> so here we go. So I do a U shape. I'm going to do a U shape eye like that. Matching U shape eye like that. Get that glare out of there. Okay. Then we do a circle inside. You got that? Sorry, I'm shaking quite a bit. I'm nervous. I go across. That. Now you guys can do the little circle. So it gives that that glistening uh, look in the eye. Uh, like that. I wish I didn't shake so much when I did my artwork. Even when I'm calm, I shake so much. So I'm going to add some blue because, you know, got a little color. Now, if it's a girl, you can add light eyelashes, things like that. But there you go. Give it some time and some practice. And this could be a good, this, this really could work line work. Take the technique of twisting together down here like I did here. Bringing that balloon back for a white leg on one side and a brown leg on the other. White tail, or if you wanted to, use that. So, there you go. There is an easy, quick Cocker Spaniel. I hope you guys enjoy this one. Thanks for watching. Sorry about the glare. I'll figure out another location in this room. Thanks. You guys have fun. God bless.